Welcome back to What's New. Our Jason Fraser is new in town, so he's hitting as many cities as he can. He wants to sort of get acquainted with the area, and this week he toured the Rubber City. That's right, Jason. Uh, those are my old stomping grounds. I grew up in Copley, just west of Akron, so uh, you've seen some cool stuff down that way. Oh, I certainly did, guys. You know, the folks down here were incredibly fun. They were very welcoming. And let me tell you, they certainly know how to feed a new person here in, in town. Now, I had a lovely opportunity to team up with Jim from the Akron Summit Convention Visitors Bureau. And let me tell you, he definitely knows how to treat a new guy here in town. Well, Jim, I smell a lot of peanuts. Where are we? We are in the iconic downtown Akron peanut shop. This has been in operation since 1932. It smells very nutty in here. It is. Get it? It is right. nutty. Clearly, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm supposed to tell the weather, not jokes. <laughs> I get nutty over dark chocolate covered cashews or pecans. Ooh. We might get some for you before you leave. Why is it called Akron? Akron comes from the Greek for elevation in Summit County. Akron is the high point. What is this? This system here takes you right to the gateway, we like to say, of the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, which also includes a scenic railroad, the only scenic railroad in the country that runs right through the heart of a national park. Our third stop is, we are at the North Side Marketplace. This kind of public space has been activated uh, with some, some food vendors, artisans, and creating clothing and jewelry, finding things that maybe you didn't even know you need. So they have a couple of different scents here, including hot buttered rum, which actually smells like butter and rum. Hmm, I guess hence the name. So Jim, we've traveled around Akron a lot today. We've really worked up an appetite. So where are we? We are at Lock 15 Brewing Company, and we have the owner, proprietor, and mastermind <laughs> with us, Colin. What makes this restaurant unique beyond any restaurant in Akron? We wanted to pay homage to Akron's history and past. All the names of our beers go back to a classic Akron person, place, or thing. This is our Nashville hot chicken, uh, and then this is our shrimp and grits. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, that hot chicken was hot, but you know what, it was delicious. The last stop of our tour here in the Rubber City is the Akron Art Museum. And joining me right now is Seema. Seema, so good to see you. Nice, thanks for coming down here. So first question I have for you is, what would be the thing that most people here in Akron would be very surprised about? I think most people around town would not know that we have 6,000 works of art and some of the most famous modern and contemporary works on view right now, free every Thursday. So I know behind us here, we have one of the newest exhibits here. Yeah. So tell me about this. So I'm excited to preview with this guy, with you. This is the first time it's been on local news. This is by Jenny Holzer. She's an Ohio artist. She's from Southern Ohio and she went to OU. Um, and she's this really wonderful living female artist from our state that you can see in our galleries. And I understand that it has like different messages that are scrolling. Yeah, there, you could spend more much more than half an hour reading these messages. Um, there's lots of them, and many of them are very thoughtful, like, your, um, the future is stupid. <laughs> now, I don't know what the future is going to be like. Uh, maybe Jenny knows better than I do. But a lot of them, she's really making you think about art, and that's something that we really believe in, that art tells a little bit about the life we lead, the future that we're going to have, the past. All of those things are right here at the Akron Art yeah, Museum. And, and I know some of these messages are also in Spanish as well, right? Yeah, I, it's, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm, it's bilingual. So he goes through the whole English messages and then the Spanish messages. Yeah. Well, Seema, let me tell you something. This was really cool to see. I have never seen anything like this uh, across the country in all of the places that I've uh, been to. Seema, thank you. Thank I appreciate you. you. And thank you also to Jim from the Akron Summit uh, Convention Visitors Bureau, also the restaurants that we visited. And let me tell you, Betsy and Jay, uh, we had not only a lot of fun, we ate really good as well. We also went to the peanut shop, as you guys saw. And 
and whew, I gotta go run a mile so I can get some of this weight off before the wedding in a couple weeks. <laughs> and now I'm hungry. Right? Oh, that peanut shop is awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jason, for taking us around some of the new spots and old spots in Akron as well. We'll be right back with a little bit of Live the Watch.